Hello and welcome to the capital city of Argentina. Walked along literally thousands of market stalls going along the road, Defensa. Right out of our comfort zone and we love it. We've come to Juan Bautista and we've just ordered our food. I can't wait, it looks awesome. Craig and Kirsty, a full-time travel couple sharing our adventures here on YouTube. We upload new travel content every week from different parts of the world. So please subscribe and welcome to the adventure of Tide Not Travellers. Hello and welcome to the capital city of Argentina. We're here in Buenos Aires. As you can see behind me, there's the famous obelisk and the BA sign and we are super excited to finally be here in Buenos Aires after a crazy travel day yesterday. If you didn't see that video I will link it above but we almost didn't make it here um, and after over a year of waiting back in England we can officially now say we are back traveling the world full time and sharing our travels with you guys. We are so excited about that. Um, so today is Sunday our first day our first full day here in Buenos Aires so we're going to go and head over to San Telmo because there's a market there on a Sunday. So we thought we'll go check that out. First of all we're going to grab a coffee because it's been a long few days and we need some coffee. So come with us and we'll show you our first day around Buenos Aires. The Obelisco de Buenos Aires is a national historic monument and icon of Buenos Aires. Located in the Plaza de Republica, it was erected in 1936 to commemorate the quadricentennial of the first foundation of Buenos Aires by Pedro de Mendoza in 1536. And it marks the spot where the Argentine national flag was raised in the city for the first time. about a 10 minute walk in a straight line from the obelisk which you can see straight down that road behind me and that brings you here to Plaza de Mayo which is the area where all the government buildings are where all the important decisions get made about the citizens of Buenos Aires and Argentina so yeah this is the main square to be if you are an important government official Before we came to Buenos Aires I was doing some reading and I learned that these white headscarves that you're seeing painted all around here in Plaza de Mayo are here to represent the children who went missing uh, during the military operation and the parents who did a protest here in the square of Plaza de Mayo and this is here to represent what happened and those children who got taken and never returned. In 1976 Argentina was run by a military dictatorship who implemented a plan to illegally kill thousands of citizens through kidnapping, torture, arbitrary executions and enforced disappearance. In 1977, a group of mothers whose children had been victims of enforced disappearance started to organise protests to demand information about their children whose whereabouts were unknown. People began to talk about the disappeared. Every Thursday at 3.30pm, the mothers walked around the Pyramid de Mayo and wore white headscarves, they were the first major group to organise against the Argentina regime's human rights violations. They wore these white headscarves to represent diapers and put the names of their disappeared children on them. During the Argentine military dictatorship from 1976 to 1983, around 30,000 people were disappeared and murdered. The Casa Rosada, or the Presidential Palace, is one of the most emblematic buildings in Argentina, named for its distinctive colour. It was from the balcony here that the President Juan Perón and the First Lady Eva Perón, more famously known as Evita, addressed masses of impassioned supporters packed into Plaza de Mayo in the 40s and 50s. That's the National Bank of Argentina. <laughs> 
One of the streets off the Plaza de Mayo is Defensa, which leads into the oldest neighborhood in Buenos Aires, called San Telmo. Every Sunday, this neighborhood hosts the Fiera de San Telmo. Having heard about these famous street markets, we were amazed at just how many stalls were packed along this long street. As well as hundreds of market stalls, you'll also find a variety of dancers and street performers along the way. Plaza de Mayo, we've now walked along literally thousands of market stalls going along the road, Defensa, and it just goes on and on. Everything, trinkets, dresses, clothes, everything but food. We're struggling to find some food and we're really hungry. So we've now just come to what feels like the end of all these stalls and we're gonna go and find ourselves something to eat. through the streets this morning we're feeling pretty depleted so we just stopped off for a break pre-lunch. I've got a chocolate croissant, pan au chocolat, we've got some iced coffees, got some fresh orange juice which we both just took a sip of this and felt so much better for having some. It's quite humid and Kirsty's gone for this delicious looking cinnamon roll. They're nice and warm as well. I'm gonna tuck in. Just had a nice cool coffee and some sugar, which we really needed. It is super muggy here in San Telmo Markets, but we were in there trying to figure out exactly where we are and realizing that this is what we love about traveling being in a country where we don't speak the language, we don't know where we're going, what we're doing, <laughs> and we love it right out of our comfort zone. And we love it. So, yeah, we're trying to find our way into like the center bit. We think there's like a center of San Telmo Markets, and we think it's to the left, so we're gonna go that way and find out. But. We now have the energy, thanks to the coffees, we're kind of buzzing from that, we need it. Tiny bit of walking from where we were and we found ourselves at the food markets we were looking for. Apparently these food markets were put here in 1897 for the immigrants, so there's food from all around the world. So we're gonna go inside and find something tasty for lunch. San Telmo markets and it's absolutely buzzing in here it's such a great vibe there's market stalls everywhere all different kinds of foods it's just awesome like you can sit and get food and drink or there's stalls to get veg and other foods from we've come to Juan Bautista and we've just ordered our food and I can't wait it looks awesome so as we got here everything's obviously in Spanish but luckily they have a little app so you can download the English menu We were so happy to find this famous covered market, which is open every day, not just Sunday Fira. This place has a lot of really cool things to see and buy. San Telmo is well known for its antique shops, and this market is packed with antiques and vintage gems, including everything from old books and records, to furniture, toys and used vintage clothing. Wandering around this place is an experience not to miss when visiting Buenos Aires.
chill with coffee places, cool places to grab some lunch, and then there's people drinking at bars and chilling out. And there's also loads of stalls to do shopping. It's been really cool exploring this part of Buenos Aires, and we have loved every second of it. Hope you've enjoyed it too. And if you have, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps us. And we will see you on the next video exploring somewhere else in Buenos Aires. Join us next time as we find out a way to half the cost of our entire Argentina trip. But figuring out the processes here had us running all over the city of Buenos Aires. For daily updates on our travels, head over to our Instagram at Tidenot Travelers, or for exclusive behind the scenes content, we'd love you to join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And that has brought us to Plaza de Mayo. So that's the main square where all the government buildings sit. You've got some pretty important buildings looking, uh, you've got some pretty important looking buildings. We just made a 10 minute walk in a straight line from the obelisk, which you can see just directly behind me on that road. And that's brought us here to Plaza de Mayo. <laughs> that happened here in Buenos Aires. And it's the parents and the mothers whose sons and, <sighs> what am I trying to say? And this is here to represent what happened and to sort of as a memorial to those children that got whoa <laughs> <laughs> to represent those children who got taken and never returned